it's time to start making the budget. So I thought I'd walk you through getting that budget started for February. And if you want to budget with me, I used every dollar and my cool fangled spreadsheet. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off over $300,000 worth of debt as quickly as we can. And we are here to help motivate you and have you join in on this journey with us. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today I am doing the February budget and I thought I'd go ahead and just start recording it as I am doing it. So the very first thing I am going to do is I am going to sort my spreadsheet so I can know exactly what I have in the budget for February. Copy. Paste. And let's delete the January column. Eight March through December columns and data sort. I want to sort by February and then I want to add another one and then sort by category. Setting it up this way actually allows me to put it into the categories that I have in every dollar. So it makes it a lot easier, a lot faster. What you're gonna see on here is you're gonna see a little bit grayed out. And the reason is I do not like to put other people's children's, not even their names in my video. And some of these things are birthdays for maybe my nephews or birthdays for other people people and it's unnecessary for you guys to know anybody else's names or anything like that so the next thing I've done is I've sorted this by February and now anything that does not occur in February I'm going to go ahead and delete now everything that we have left is in February so we are now at the every dollar home screen and we have opened up February 2018 for every dollar and we are going to start planning for February by clicking on that and basically what that does is import everything from the previous month into my every dollar. So there are some categories on here that you will not be able to see our income category and our giving category. You will not be able to see. And I apologize for that, but it is what it is. So let us go ahead and get started. The very first thing that I do after I create my budget is I go through and I look and I delete out the things that were specific to last month that are not going to apply. So Mauricio paid fantasy football last month and I'm going to delete that out. Thank goodness we only have to pay that once a year. And all of these little things that he purchased throughout the month, they're gone. The cash category, I don't change anything and the recurring expenses are the same every month. And then some months for the annual expenses, I go ahead and put those in. Now, this $140 I had for last month for our P.O. box, that has not cleared our account yet. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in here. It got charged on the 30, 31st of January. And so I'm going to leave it in there for the end for February. You'll so my dentist appointment actually got moved to February. So I am, in fact, going to have a dentist appointment next month. Melina's dentist appointment is deleted out although i do expect to be getting a bill for that soon um i went to the neurologist i have no neurology bill and i have no neurology copay we have no office supplies that i know of and then our sinking funds are the same and then let's go and delete all of these things that i bought last month
We've got our cash envelopes are all the same, our cushion, our debt, insurance and taxes all the same, doctor's appointments, Melina, online expenses, recurring, sinking funds, transportation, utilities. So Valentine's Day is actually a category for us this month. Now, Mauricio and I, while on this plan, have agreed we're not really going to be doing anything for Valentine's Day. We might take our $100 family fun money and go out to dinner or go out and get some drinks or something like that, but we will decide that closer to Valentine's Day. But we will not be exchanging gifts because it's just, it's not money we want to spend right now and absolutely not necessary. It was just Christmas and we don't really need anything right now. Melina's little friends at school, we've got to get some cards and maybe like some little candies to pass out at school. And then there is a party that Melina attends every year for Valentine's Day. And um, that's, I think, $10. So um, we will put $50 in the budget for Valentine's Day under the Melina category. So let's go ahead. So we are going to put, let's do $30 for her school friends. I don't know what they do at this school on Valentine's, but I'm guessing they'll have some sort of party. So let's go ahead and put that in the budget just in case. And then I'm going to put the Valentine's Day party. That ticket is $10 usually. And then we're going to put and then we're going to put twenty dollars in the budget for Valentine's gifts for Melina. Um, just little things from us. Just something, you know, something Valentine's Day. We're not huge Valentine's Day people. Um, it's more for kids and everything. I am about this romantic. I am not romantic at all. I like flowers. I like getting flowers, but I like flowers because they're pretty, not because they mean something. So Mauricio really lucked out in the wife department with that. So Mauricio and I do not have any additional expenses and we're going to go ahead and leave the cash the, where it was last month. So I am going to leave this in multiples of 20. So I have $250 for the grocery store, $200 for blow money, $20 for the dry cleaner, $30 for Mauricio's haircut, $20 at Sally Beauty, and $100 for family outings. And then our reoccurring expenses are the same almost every month. We have no annual fees coming through this month. So we've got $29.97 for iTunes, $44 for Weight Watchers, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. Now, I will tell you, Mauricio probably will not spend $25 on Skype this month, but better safe than sorry. And then in the YouTube category, I have all the same expenses, $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 for Morning Fame, and as I explained before, the $140 for the P.O. Box. Now, I have a dentist appointment this month and I am gonna put $100 in there because I legitimately have no idea how I'm gonna have to, how much I have to pay for this cleaning. Maybe it'll be 100% covered and we'll have an extra $100 to go to debt. Maybe it won't, I do not know. So our next category is our sinking funds and that is gonna be the same as it always is, 150 for medical, 100 for car repair and replace, 100 for Christmas, 50 for an emergency trip to Columbia, 25 for miscellaneous school expenses, 100 for summer camp, 100 for work travel expenses, and then another 100 for our anniversary this summer. We will have been married 10 years, and we are putting $100 a month in there just in case we want to do something, or maybe we'll put it to debt. Who knows? We'll decide when we get there. And then for our Amazon category, 
our online category. I'm going to put $150 in there as I always do. And then we're going to do $100 for our cushion. So the next one is our debt payment. And I am actually going to hold off on this until the very end because since we work on a zero-based budget, every cent we have after we pay off our bills will go to our Navy Federal Credit Union loan. So I want to set up all our payments for everything else and then everything left will go right here. So... We will put 260 towards our credit card, 465 towards our car, 1186 towards our USAA loan, and and $200 towards our tax loan. So I have historically been putting in $30 for gas. And for the last four months, we have gone over on gas every month because we have either filled up my parents' car or gas is starting to get expensive again. So it's taking about 30, right around $30 to fill up Mauricio's car. So I am going to actually bump this up to $60. That will allow us to fill up one of my parents' cars once during the month and fill up our car if we need to. If we don't use any of that money, then it'll go to debt. But if we do, then we'll have it in the budget because I am tired of going over for gas. So, so for now, let me look this over. You can see at the top, it looks like we have $5,397.31 left over. The next thing I need to do, because I know I have medical appointments and Mauricio has medical appointments, I need to go get my calendar. Okay, I have gotten my planner and I'm about to look through my calendar to see what we have coming up in February. What do I see? Training, 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 Valentine's Day party at school, the 100th day of school. Ah, there is something I did not know. Melina's elementary school teacher's birthday is in February. So I'm going to put in some money to give her probably a gift card to Amazon. And this is why I also budget with a calendar. Okay, I can see that Melina's school is having an event at the school and that's probably gonna be about $10, but I will probably use that out of the Melina miscellaneous school expenses because I am sure she will wanna go to that. The one thing that I do have in here that I have not talked about is down here in medical. Both Mauricio and I have eye doctor's appointments the first week in February. And I have no joke how much that's gonna cost. We have eye appointments, we both wear glasses, I wear contacts. We have good vision insurance, but I don't know the co-pays. I, I called and tried to figure it out, but legitimately it was like, if you use this coating and this kind of lens and this and this and this and this, and there's a certain deductible and it was so confusing. I hate insurance. Why can't they just make it simple? But so I don't know how much this is going to cost. So for now I am putting nothing in there, but I am also not going to make our debt payments until after I have figured out how much we're going to have to pay out of our own pockets. Stick around for the end of the month, February budget to find out how much our glasses cost. So I am going to leave this category, Wendy and Mauricio, I, Dr. Blank as zeros, and I'm going to go ahead and balance out the budget. And that means we will be putting $5,347.31 to our biggest debt, which would put us at a total of $7,458.91 going to debt this month. This is the beginning budget. Things are going to shift around. Things are going to change before the month even starts. And the next step is to have the budget meeting. So do I think we will put that much to debt this month? No, but if we can keep it over $7,000, we will be right on track because we have $43,000 left to pay off on our largest loan by September, which means it will take us eight and a half months if we are paying about $5,000 a month. So we are right on track to pay it off in September. That is awesome.
So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.